Okay, this is a quick video for my friend uh, Mike Yenko, who is asking about how uh, to create a very simple kind of hello world-ish thing in Xcode. Um, and I just thought I'd throw something together real quick. So all you got to do is go to um, File, New Project, uh, Cocoa Application for Mike. There we go. And then here what we want to do is um, go to the uh, main menu nib and look for the window. We're going to drag in a button. I'm going to drag in a field. Oops, not what I meant to do. Okay, so text field. We have another text field. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to go to the delegate file, and I'm going to create. Uh, references to these, and the easiest way to do that is to let Xcode do it for you by creating, I'm using the um, a little uh, uh, assistant. What are the what do they call it? The yeah, the assistant editor. So it's open. I know this is on my laptop, so it's all kind of cramped here. But the uh, idea here is that you go to the assistant. Nope. Go to this one over here. We're going to go to the assistant. It is not cooperating with me. Here, and then assistant. Thank you. Here we're going to go to the delegate. I mean the .h file. Uh, click on each of these, and then right-click and drag. And right underneath property, we're going to go there, and we'll type input. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here. Click, drag, release, output. Okay. And you could also do this for the button if you wanted to make a reference to the button. Um, you could do it like that, but we actually don't need that. What we do need, though, we do need an action. So we're going to do IB action and just start typing, and then it, it fills the rest in. So we're going to hit uh, tab, um, transcribe, All right? And this is going. And I'm going to copy this line here. Okay. And so what we want to happen is when this button is pushed, we want this file, the the, the data in this, to then go into this. And so what we're going to do is we take this. Um, and we're going to do like this. Drag. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to click this little plus up here and drag this to the button. Okay. Now, when we push the button, that's going to do that thing. Okay. So then we're going to go to the .m file, and we'll type. We'll just paste that. Um, and then we're going to do self dot input dot text value. Sorry, string value. Uh, oops, self dot output dot string value equals the input string value. Uh, save it. And I think that's it. Run that. I did it. There you go. Enjoy, Mike.